right, in this video, I'm gonna show what will hopefully be a quick and easy way to make a fire simulation in Blender 2.67b. Uh, let me turn on the screencast first. I'm gonna press N and T to get rid of these little sidebars. Okay, so when I make a fire simulation, most of the time I'll just use quick smoke as a starting point. To get to quick smoke, um, you can click on the object that you want to burn uh, press space bar and do a search and you type the word quick oops if you type the word quick your four quick simulations will come up for fire you're going to use quick smoke um, let's see let me shorten this to only be 150 frames so now you have two things you have your object or your emitter which is the thing that is on fire and then you have your domain which is kind of like a container for the simulation so let's press play and as you can see we already have smoke um, increasing the size of the domain keep in mind you should only do this in object mode will make the entire emitter emit smoke decreasing the size of the domain will make smoke only come out of whatever part of the object is inside the domain. So let's see, right now, let me scale this up a little bit. So right now we only have smoke. Let me raise this up a little as well. Right now we only have smoke. Now to get some fire, we're gonna click on our emitter or our burning object and we're gonna go over here to the properties panel and all the way on the far right you have your physics properties. Open that up and um, under smoke you have your flow type so right now it's set to smoke I'm gonna go change it to fire and smoke and then you'll get some fire and then you'll also get some smoke let me make the domain a little bit bigger so now we have a burning cube um, if you want only fire change it to fire uh, I don't think outflow actually works for fire. I think outflow is for a liquid simulation. I could be wrong. I have been before, but um, for fire, I usually just use smoke, fire and smoke, or fire. So here's just the fire. And one last thing, a another quick way to make the fire just look a little bit better is by checking the domain and going to its physics properties. And under down here, under smoke high resolution check that box and it will kind of make the smoke look a little bit more realistic um, you can bump up the divisions it will take longer to bake but if you bump up the divisions it'll look a little bit more realistic um, let's see let's shrink this down as well as you can mess with the resolution divisions here to get a little bit different effect I do have some other videos I made that will demonstrate how changing these parameters will affect the way that the fire looks. I'm going to put some links to those videos on the end of this one. And I hope this one helped. All right, bye.